Hey guys, how's it going? I've recently gotten into cryptocurrency trading. It's a pretty fun time because the market's super volatile and watching market manipulation in real time is really fascinating. Schemes like pools, churning, and scamming are extremely widespread. I'm more interested in pump and dumps because on the surface, they seem like a great get rich quick scheme. If you can buy low and sell high and take advantage of the volatility, there's certainly potential of making big profits. Now, I'm not a financial advisor and I'm not supporting these strategies in any way. In fact, it goes against the terms of use for many of the major exchanges. This video is more for education and I just want to share some of my data and findings. Like other videos on this channel, I put my own money on the line just to experience how it feels to lose it all. Welcome back to Reviews for Life, let's go. So the first question is, what are pump and dumps? Well, basically they're pyramid schemes and generally the process goes like this. The organizers select a day and time for the pump day and this information is shared among the members, usually through Discord or Telegram. The members then hype up the event by inviting more members. Often there's incentives involved, such as giveaways or receiving an advantage on the pump day. A few minutes, hours, or even days before the pump day, the organizers will select a coin and buy it at a low price. When the pump time comes around, the coin is announced as a pump signal, and organizers start offloading, generally at a markup, onto members. The pumping part involves members buying the coins and dumping it at an even higher price to other members. As long as there's a demand, this can continue indefinitely. But what normally happens is a huge spike in the first few seconds, followed by a huge crash. This is because the final members, or bag holders, realize nobody else wants the coin anymore and are desperately trying to sell off everything, often at a loss. So this means the initial demand is actually artificial and is caused by members who think they can buy the coin at a cheaper price than the next guy. These events are zero-sum games, meaning that they don't generate any additional value. The people at the front take from the people at the back, with the biggest winners being the organizers themselves. If you think this is really dirty and unethical, you're right. But the reason why these schemes work is because they play off of people's greed, similar to gambling. Now, every pump is different, but here's a graph of what a particularly successful pump and dump looks like. On March 7th, 2021, there was a pump event for PPT BTC on Binance. This particular event had several groups collaborating together to boost up the number of people buying in. From the one minute graphs, this resulted in roughly 275% increase from the base price. Now, let's zoom in and see what really happened. Using 100 millisecond graphs, we can create candlestick charts to see that the coin signal wasn't released until about four seconds after the scheduled time. Afterwards, there's steady growth until the peak, which is at 23 seconds, and then a sharp decline. Now, pump events generally don't look like this because this was a major collaboration. Here is an example of a smaller pump, and we can see that the peak occurs about five to 10 seconds before plummeting down. So is there a winning strategy? Well, a few ideas come to mind. The first and perhaps most obvious would be to form your own group and become an organizer yourself. This way you can select the coin and be the first one to dump it on members. Furthermore, there's a possibility that once the group gets big enough, it'll attract the attention of other pump groups, which leads to collaborations and more people joining in. The downside is that it's really a lot of work to grow and maintain a pump server. The second method is to use a robot that reads in the ticker and performs buy and sell trades for you. This removes human error and any latency related to manually typing in the ticker. Generally, bots are obtained either by coding it yourself or by buying one. Personally, I recommend the coding option since it's more fun. The third option, and one that is really unethical, is to scam others. This is generally done by buying a coin beforehand and telling people that you have insider info. You can give them the coin name earlier for some nominal fee. And as the scammer, not only do you get the payment, but you also get to offload the coins you purchased onto these people. In the end, the coin choice doesn't actually matter because you've already taken in the profits. That said, none of these methods are guaranteed ways of making profits every single time. I've personally participated in a few pump and dumps as a regular member, and the results are quite varied. Sometimes I'm up 10%, and other times when I buy at the peak, I lose about 30. I consider myself lucky whenever I can break even, since it's really hard to buy and sell quickly. That said, I've seen some people post profits of several hundred percent, so your mileage may vary. 
If you're new to cryptocurrency and are thinking of getting into pump and dumps, I don't recommend it because it's heavily rigged against you. Personally, I find it's more fun to observe and read the angry chat logs after everyone has lost their money. Just like gambling, the potential to make a life-changing amount of money is certainly there. But at the same time, there's a risk of losing just as much, just as quickly. The ones who benefit the most are the organizers, and everyone else is just buying their bags. However, if you do have insider info or know how to code, I can see this as a huge advantage. All right, that's it from me. Consider liking and subscribing. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.